In this video, we will discuss about production of interferon by recombinant DNA technology. Here, we will discuss the introduction to the interferon, types of interferon, mechanism of action of interferon to kill the viral infection, and different methods of production and therapeutic uses of interferons. Coming to the introduction to the interferons, Interferons are antiviral substance. These are the first line defensive mechanism against the viral infections. And these are a family of a host coded protein. Not a, one protein, it is a group of protein more than 20 substances with a molecular weight between 20,000 to 30,000 Daltons. And these interferons are produced by the cells on induction by viral or non-viral inducers. But the interferon itself have no direct action in killing the virus. Then what is the action of interferon? These interferons which are produced by the cells on viral infections will render the other cell refractory to the viral infection. So it will produce interferons and these interferons will act in the cells of same species and in that cells the interferon will produce some uh, proteins, translation inhibiting proteins and that in proteins will inhibit the multiplication of virus in the cells, new cells. The term interferon has originated from the interference of these molecules on viral replications. Now interferons is broadly categorized into three groups interferon alpha, interferon beta and interferon gamma. Now coming to the mechanism of action as we mentioned before interferon do not have its own action to killing the virus. And these interferons are produced by mammalian cell when they are infected with the virus. So when it is infected with the virus, the virus will release its nucleic acid into the cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm or the cells which is infected with the virus will stimulate the host DNA to produce the interferons. And these interferon secreted by the cells which are infected with the virus will bind with the adjacent cell. This interferon will bind with the adjacent cell. So what will happen? These interfer uh, interferons which is binded with the adjacent cell will stimulate the cellular DNA to produce a protein which is known as translation inhibiting protein which is a mixture of at least three enzymes, protein kinase, oligonucleotide synthetase and RNAs. So all together will block the translation of mRNA into the viral proteins. So it will block their protein synthesis without affecting the cellular mRNA of the host. So this action will block the multiplication of virus as we all know virus requires some host cell for their multiplication. So by blocking the multiplication we can prevent the viral infection. But the action of interfere, interferon will appear to be specific. Thus the human interferon which will operate only in human and other animals interferon is will be ineffective in human. So that is why the importance of production of interferons by recombinant DNA will come to the important. Now this is the mechanism of action when a virus infect a cells this viral DNA nucleic acid will uh, stimulate the nucleus to produce interferons and these interferons uh, synthesis by this cell which is infected virus will stimulate the production of interferons and this interferon will uh, ad bind with the adjacent cell which are not infected and this interferon will stimulate the nucleus to produce an antiviral en enzyme that is a translation inhibiting protein a group of three enzymes. So thereby it will block the viral replication in the adjacent cell that is the mechanism of action. 
Now coming to the production method of uh, interferons. There are two methods. First one is isolation of interferon in the early year by directly from the blood but uh, this is not used nowadays and second one is production of recombinant vector. So coming to the first method production of uh, or isolation of interferon in early years it was by uh, blood uh, it was from the blood which was the only source for the interferon in early years. It, uh, the procedure was very tedious and the quantity at, uh, at the interferon isolated was very little about uh, uh, if we are extracting or if we are using 50,000 liter of human blood uh, which was required to get 100 milligram of the interferon. So it was very very difficult to conduct the research or use the interferon for the therapeutic purpose thereby we are using recombinant DNA technology for the production of interferon. Now coming to the steps involved in the production of recombinant interferon. For the step, first we have to isolate the mRNA which are coded for the interferon from the human. So after isolating the mRNA, we have to construct the complementary DNA. Second step is construction of complementary DNA from this isolated mRNA by using reverse transcriptase enzyme by reverse transcription mechanism. So we will get a complementary DNA and we have to fragment this complementary DNA of uh, double stranded DNA which are produced by reverse transcriptase enzyme by using and restriction endonuclease enzyme to get the fragments. So from the fragment we will isolate the desired DNA fragment and this desired free DNA fragment isolated is amplified by using different uh, gene amplification method like polymerized chain reaction and this amplified gene of interest is ligated with a suitable vector by using DNA ligase. So we will get a recombinant DNA and this recombinant DNA is transferred into a host cell. Host cell may be either bacterial cell or yeast cell. So by using bacterial cell the production will be relatively less and this is mainly because most of the interferons are glycoprotein in nature and bacteria do not possess the machinery for glycosylation of the protein. So production of interferon in host cell that is bacteria will be relatively less. What we can use yeast cell for the for, as an host cell for the transfer of RDNA. So here we will use Saccharomyces cerevisiae which is the most suitable for the production of recombinant interferon because it will possess a me me mechanism to carry out glycosylation of protein similar to that occur in the mammalian cell. And the DNA sequence coding for the specific human interferon are attached to the yeast alcohol dehydrogenase gene in plasmid and introduced into four yeast cell. And this yield interferon with several fold higher compared with the E. coli as host. So after transferring into the host cell, we have to screen the host cell to identify the host cell which containing recombinant DNA by using different screening techniques. So after screening uh, and isolating the host cell which containing recombinant DNA which is responsible for the production of interferon, we have to culture the host cell in a suitable media on large scale. Even we can use fermentation process for the large scale production of interferon and after the uh, culturing of the host cell, the desired uh, product interferon will be extracted from the culture media and this is purified by downstream process. So these are the steps which are involved in the production of interferon or recombinant interferon. Now coming to the uh, production of hybrid interferon. As we all know there are different types of interferon alpha, beta, gamma. And even in alpha there are different type of alpha 1 and alpha 2 type of uh, interferons. So in order to produce hybrid interferons 
which containing which have an advantage of different interferon with the different antiviral activity uh, that can be combined to produce more efficient interferon and also we can uh, bypass the glycosylation steps and the bacteria can be used to produce hybrid interferon the hybrid interferon are more reactive in performing their function so these are the different advantages of hybrid interferon so we will uh, uh, for the production of hybrid interferon first we have to uh, cut or digest the interferon alpha 2 and alpha 3 gene by uh, digesting with the restriction endonuclease enzyme so we will get the gene for alpha 2 as well as alpha 3 uh, interferons and the resulting fragments are ligated to generate hybrid DNA. This is uh, done by different ligase enzyme. So to get an hybrid genes and this hybrid gene can be selected and can be used to produce hybrid interferon as already start, uh, stated E. coli can be used employed for the purpose. Uh, the production of interferon was done in yeast cell because of its uh, uh, advantages. But hybrid interferon can be cultured in the E. coli. So that is the production of interferon with more activity uh, than the uh, common or uh, conventional interferons. Now coming to the, this is the pictorial representation. We have to cut the or we have to digest the interferon alpha 2 gene via restriction endonuclease enzyme as well as uh, interferon alpha 3 gene by restriction endonuclease enzyme and we have to produce uh, these genes uh, or uh, hybrid gene by using DNA ligase enzyme and then this is transferred into an host cell that equally can be used for the production of hybrid interferons. And finally coming to the applications of interferons. Interferons can be used for the treatment of large number of viral diseases as well as cancers. Okay, so what is uh, the, what are the different uh, cancers which can be treated with the interferons like leukemia, Kaposi sarcoma, bladder cancer, head and neck cancer, renal cell carcinoma, skin cancer and multiple myeloma are the examples of cancer which can be treated by interferons. And what are the different viral diseases which can be treated with interferon? It can be used for the treatment of AIDS, multiple sclerosis, genital warts, hepatitis C, herpes zoster infection and treatment of common cold and influenza which are used for used as a nasal spray. Then interferon uh, will cause the death of cancer cell by stimulating action of natural killer cell. This is a specialized lipoforms. Even though interferon can be used to, for the treatment of different viral as well as cancer treatment, this is uh, do not uh, or they are not within the reach of large number of common people due to its cost factor. Because for the production of uh, uh, interferon by recombinant DNA technology, the production cost is very very high. That is the one of the disadvantage of the uh, in recombinant interferon, it cannot uh, reach to the common people who cannot afford the high cost of production. Okay, so these are the therapeutic applications of interferon, and uh, that's all about the production of interferon. Here we had discussed the introduction types, mechanism of action, and different production process and therapeutic uses of interferon. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.